Leaving your comrades in East Haven, Fenrir and Shen Lu headed east into the Icewind Dale. Memories seen through his wolf form's eyes have driven Fenrir to Raven Rock, while Shen Lu has been guided by a vision from the Raven Queen telling him, Free the beast, find the diamond jeweled key, and the way a shadow will be lifted. These are the things pushing and propelling you guys to Raven Rock. Raven Rock is a three day trek. Fenrir grew up in these parts, so he knows the swiftest, safest route. Uh, your first day, you encounter no issues other than the weather. Um, but on the second day, Fenrir can now feel the beast growing inside him because the sun is sets early in this part of the north. And how are we? Uh, how are we traveling on the road? Like, what's our means of travel? Fenrir's taking you through the wilderness by foot. By foot. Yeah. He's, okay, so we're coming down to the cold of Icewind Dale by foot. Yeah, you guys are moving as fast as you can. Um, you but know, conditions have been favorable for the travel. You guys are traveling during the summer, so it's made things a lot easier for you. Mm. Um, but unfortunately, it's a full moon, and the full moon goes in a cycle of three. So on your second day of travel, Fenrir knows by the end of this night, he will uh, transform into a werewolf. And you guys are in the middle of nowhere. So we're going to start there. Um, you guys are just traveling on your second day. Okay. And what time of the day is it? it? I would say it's still early enough that you can make plans because um, you guys would probably think out what to do when Fenrir is going to change. Because you don't want to be around there because, I mean, you know he's going to be a werewolf and he can't control himself when he's a werewolf. Okay, so I'm aware of what the danger is to myself. Yes. Gotcha. Okay, here we go. I understand. Okay, so, um, and then, uh, what kind of, like, uh, so the weather is nice, but it's, like, we're, we're sort of in, like, a forest land. We're kind of traipsing over uplands and, like, over mountains and things, right? Yes, yeah. Fenrir yeah. will probably try to take you through whatever little paths, paths you could go through. So Game trails and stuff. He knows he has to get to Raven Rock within three days, because, uh, well, he's being propelled to go there. He's getting compelled to see right. what's at the end of that march, I know this too. Um, I, I measured it. In order for us to get there, we have to travel at a fast pace. I've given okay. you fast pace so already. We're, we're hoofing it. Yeah. Based on your knowledge we're, of the land, I think it's okay. We're like, take only what you can carry and run through the forest for the next three days. Yeah, no, that's how uh, Shen Lu is built. He's lean and mean, so this is perfect. There you go. So yeah, I'm he's been uh, building up a sweat, and uh, but he's been still. Uh, he's been spitting like. Um, He's been talking about the uh, – he's been, like, really vocal about what's going on in his head. He's, like, talking about, yeah, I must unlock the mis the mysteries of the Raven Queen. I, she's, this is the, 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 the other side of the coin where all of my intense preparation, I cannot see the, the mysteries. The, the communication that comes to me uh, doesn't make sense. Yeah, but it's you kind frustrating. of – It's frustrating. Yeah, but you got the idea. It said, free the beast. And you're imagining, because you saw these wolves at Raven Rock chained up. You saw thousands and thousands of wolves chained up. Right. That you, know, you got a werewolf friend, free the beast. These probably do yep. coincide. That's probably how you came across this party. Like, the Raven Queen has led you to him to lead him to Raven Rock. No, no, I'm happy with, um, I'm happy that I'm finally on, on the way to get my, uh, to get answers to these questions that have been frustrating me. Yes. Like I'm motivated by it, but I'm also afraid of the change as as uh, is happening before the destination. Maybe the the change has to happen at Raven Rock. I want to tell you before we get in game. We're in game. Have, we are in game. <laughs> uh, oh, I have a bottle, a purple bottle, that I I have suspicions that 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 will um, suppress a change, but there's enough for one use. Yes, that okay, bottle needed, was given so to that you. So that, that's, that's in game. I need to know that. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, you could say in game. But Shen Lu, you were there. It was given to you guys by an old man who sent you to uh, another realm where you got to saw, see a dark future if you didn't work together. Right. And in that that's future, right. there was it was constant night. And the moon goddess is the villain of that story. And I guess those two things combined could mean that that purple liquid given to him could be a antidote, or it could be oh. a um, an elixir to suppress his wolf. Who knows? He never explained to me. He just yeah, told him he would, don't. he would know when to use it. Gotcha. I want okay. to, and he thinks 
Fenrir, in Fenrir's mind, using it at Raven Rock is the is the answer. So he'd hate to use it on the way. And so yeah, we're a day into our travels. I'm assuming we've had conversations about this stuff. I yes, think that's been, fair. So that's kind of why I, I wanted to paint the yeah. picture um, about and find you know ask these questions about who you know what do we know and who knows what. So because um, it's and fair will, to say that we we've kind of talked about this. So I will we, tell you this. Yes. Uh, when I transform into the wolf, I am not only afraid for your safety, but for mine. I saw you punch a skilled warrior, ice giant, to death. And when I become the beast, I, I have no concept of friend or foe. I am only filled with the natural thirst of nature for food and blood. Fenrir, uh, what's your m move speed? 40. 40, okay. Now, <clears throat> Fenrir, you are nearly as fleet of foot as I am, and you have pushed the pace admirably. Um, but I don't believe that we are on a, the, the, a course fast enough to take us to Raven Rock. No. I was thinking that to myself. I will be you turning are going into to change. the wolf tonight. Yes. And I don't want to battle you, certainly. I was trying to think of a plan. I might have an idea. Yes. How well can you climb trees? This is, these are my thoughts as well. I can <laughs> climb to the trees easily. Another idea I had is that you have a special friend in your pocket there who yes. can take the form of a raven. Yes. What if you were to... Can you guide him or does he move on his own accord. I can send the raven where I wish, and it will what? obey. What if your raven were to lure me away from you, further into the forest, away from danger, and maybe towards other creatures, like an elk or something? What do you know about the, your time in the, when, the, when the moon overtakes you? I know that I have no memory of it when I wake up. When you don't I was, remember what your thoughts or desires might be? I have had a vision every time I have turned, but I do not remember what the wolf has done when I awake. Mm. And are you I aware have, of this, the, the scent, the, what the wolf's sense, senses become? Do you know? I must know these things to, to plan how vulnerable I might be. I will tell you this. When I was young, I was gifted the the gift of the werewolf when I was with the Grey Wolf tribe. And when you are very young and you first receive the gift, it is uncontrollable. You are a wild beast, as I am now. But over many years, I was able to control it and learn from other werewolves in the pack to where I was able to freely use my powers and transform into a wolf when I saw fit. And yes. even during the light of the moon, I was in control. So you but know of a life in control. I do. But mm, when I, I abandoned my tribe, they do not allow us to leave without taking the gift away from us. It is the ultimate sacrifice you make for freedom. You must give up the wolf. And my desire for freedom was so great that I had to rip it out of me. It's a very violent process. I... Then was on an adventure with Percy and my friend Lars, who is gone now. And we faced a demon. And I was overpowered by two of them. Say you so. I was. We both died at the same time. And when I say that I died, I really died. I traversed this plane into the realm of... Was it... Uh, Sovngard, Uthgard, yeah. Uthgard, uh. <laughs> and there, Uthgard himself, he bid me that I was to return to this world and mm. as a wolf again, and that this power would be the key to defeating the evil that is coming, the night mistress. It seems our destinies are far intertwined. Uh, it would appear so. <clears throat> I also wish to uh, enter the realm of my goddess and return safely and with greater powers. 
I think the lesson is that we are meant to be who we are meant to be, and we travel together to find our final form. But, as for a strategy, because you have the knowledge of how much uh, sense your wolf has, I think you are. I think you are correct. I think it would be a good idea to use my animal companion to lure you away from me. In addition to taking stealth into the trees and trying to evade your beast-like senses. I know that when we used to hunt the deer and such and the elk, we would go up high with spears so that our scent would not be so low to the ground. Perhaps this would shield your scent from me, and if I see the raven flying through the forest, I may follow it away from you. Yes, I, I believe that I can also, uh, or I'm, I'm saying, <clears throat> I, I will at a last resort if it comes down to it. I will not fight you, but I will unleash the powers of the Raven Queen to frighten you away. If our fights are intertwined as they say that we must be, I cannot foresee our gods letting the Raven leading the wolf away from you for safety being a bad idea. They might bless us. You mistake me for an idealist. I don't have faith in any grace from my god. I seek her for power. And in return for my hard work and devotion, she rewards me with power. And I seek the ultimate reward. I am no devout follower of any religion per se. All I know is I met a god once, and he gave me life again. So yes, he true. must have he must I have should, some say. I should defer to your uh, your wisdom. In this case, mm -hmm. I will bring the raven to life now and give her instructions to lure you away from us. She can mimic the cry of any animal. To which animal would your uh, beast form be most lured? To be quite honest with you, the screams of a man or a woman then she will mimic the screams of man. All right. And, uh, so I'm yeah, Shen Lu will uh, he'll bring her to life uh, by speaking the secret word, uh, and he will uh, give communicate those instructions that when the change comes upon Fenrir, um, that she is to uh, fly in the branches uh, in a zigzag pattern away from me, and then mimic the screams of men and women. That's awesome. <laughs> you know, I also think it's probably fascinating for Shen Lu to hear, being a monk of the Long Death, that a person he knows died. Yes, it is fascinating, and came back with yeah. more power. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> yes. wild. That is literally my goal, and so I, that's why I'm uh, my fates are intertwined. Yes. You could chain me to the tree with your weapon and all, but I don't trust the integrity of it, and. My whole goal is to set this beast free and embrace it. I don't like chaining myself. So, um, night's starting to fall. You guys could sense Fenrir's getting a bit more aggressive. Maybe even you hear him growling a little bit. So you know it's time you have to set oh. up a plan. Okay. You find a really good tree. Uh, this dried meat is no good. Yeah. I long for something more fresh. Something more raw. Something bloody. It sounds like the change is upon you, Fenrir. It's time to enact our plan. It and is. he just... He kind of just... I just move into action, so I'm immediately going to run up the side of this tree. Because uh, that's one of my new skills. I can walk on the sides of things. I'd say nice. the tree is... You found a nice, really tall one, probably about 40 feet. I mean, okay, yeah, I'm going to go all the way to the top, because I have a 45-foot move. So I'm going to go all okay. the way to the top, top branch. That'll hold my weight. And then uh, just go uh, kind of stealth. Okay. Fenrir will um, unhook his his breastplate, his armor, and um, drop his coat and his his gear. At the uh, what gear he did bring, he left probably most of it with Percy and and uh, Phantasmo. But uh, and I'll drop so that there the, by the tree and get ready. The Raven has a fifty foot fly speed, so she's gonna stay just that far away from Fenrir. Uh, up in the up in the she flutters away. Uh, the, the silver raven comes to life, animates, it kind of boobo, shakes its head around, beak, yeah. and then kind of becomes more realistic as it kind of flaps its wings. Um, it's still silver in color, and it kind of flies uh, gracefully into a tree uh, 50 feet away and already emits uh, the scream of a man. 
Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Insert, uh, what is that? The, uh, Wilhelm scream. <laughs> Wilhelm, yeah. Oh! Yeah. So you already got something to uh, test your senses against. <laughs> yes. But Fenrir's. The, okay. the bird doesn't give off any kind of smell, correct? No, it's a uh, figurine, so it's like All right. it's a boobo. Okay. Yeah. All right, Chad, it's go ahead and transform, buddy. Fenrir is breathing heavy, and um, he looks over at the boobo <laughs> raven. Well, my friend, be my guide tonight and keep my friend safe and make me me we both live to survive to the morning ah! insert wolf hell and, and the blood curdling womanly scream <laughs> pierces the night yes <laughs> His skin shreds. Uh, I'm sure he removed whatever clothes and put it by the tree because he didn't want to rip it up or anything like that. But uh, the first thing <laughs> this wolf form does is he has – he hears the screams, but his keen smell smells the monk up the tree. Or does it? Let's have a uh, – I need yeah, a dude. perception check, Chad, with advantage, and you have a stealth check, Shinlu. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Perception with advantage, Chad. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 18. No, oh, that mine's 15. Well, he smells you up the tree. Okay. Oh no. That did not work. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking up the tree, but he's trying to to see you. So yeah, periodically the uh, the the uh, the raven continues to scream. Do, do you want to do your perception against the DC ten? Yeah, let's go ahead and do your, that. It's a, I think it's an insight check for that. So yeah. Um, uh, no he, wisdom. Yeah, he, wisdom insight. But he also has keen hearing, so he's gonna have um, any kind of advantage when checks that rely on hearing or smell. Okay. Okay. Okay, ones. Oh no! <laughs> well, now, now he's rolling good. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's insight. Yep. And nineteen. <laughs> well, that beats that ten. <laughs> yeah. So he knows that it's not quite a real human scream. Yep. He knows it's not a human. And scream. he knows there's a human up in the tree that looks tasty. <laughs> okay. So. Um, well, Shen Lu can werewolves is, climb? <laughs> Shen Lu is on the move uh, if he starts climbing towards me. Shen Lu also remembers the talk of the purple bottle. And that might be the fail safe in the uh, back of his head now. Oh, I would say safe. Fenrir probably left that on top of his sack there. Yeah, he probably has it right on the there. Side yeah. Ah. The purple bottle. Hmm. So, um,. Let's roll for initiative. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> oh, good. Like sounds good. Best laid plans. Yeah. Yeah, right? That's a 23. Oh, nice. Uh, bad thing about playing in the dark. Uh, a werewolf um, has a plus one to dex. Okay. Uh, that's 14 then. What did you have, Chris? I'm sorry. I had a 23. All right, so you're, you're first. Okay, so what yes. do you want to do? You see so, this werewolf um, starting to climb. He wants to start climbing up the tree, and he can move fast. Yeah, yeah I'm going to actually uh, jump out of the tree. I take no damage from this fall. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. You land in the like snow. A, uh, oh. Kung fu float, yes. A kung fu float down <laughs> right to the bottle. And uh, I'm going to use my action to coat a dart with the liquid in the bottle. Oh, Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, that'll be the end of my turn. All right. So <laughs> you see him drop down. Probably, I'd say he's probably maybe 15 or so feet away from you. And where we are. Uh, you have. Fender has no control over this wolf. This is a mindless animal that just wants to feast. Right. Um, so what do you do, werewolf? 
Well, I guess he would run towards the uh, the mook. All right. So the werewolf can make two attacks: one with its bite, and one with its claw or spear. You don't well, have I don't a spear, have a, so let's do. I don't have a spear. <laughs> two attacks: one with a bite, one with a claw. Okay. I rolled an eighteen and a ten. All right. So the bites an eighteen. Does that hit? No. Oh, then the ten's not gonna hit. So he comes, no. he comes rushing at you, and you just kind of swiftly yeah. move to the side as he bites down, and he swipes at you. And just as he swipes, what do you do? Oh, I sort of do one of those. Uh, I just do a full-on like back bend and kick my legs over my feet and land straight up, just out of reach of the swipe. Oh yeah, like a Harley Quinn back flip away. Yeah. <laughs> so you so, land uh, with with the uh, coated weapon at yep. hand. The dart ready to go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it at him. I'm gonna make that attack. All right. Sweet. And uh, I'm gonna use non-lethal damage. Non-lethal damage. Well, I guess the uh, piercing armor, damage. So. Armor class and wolf form is 12. Is 12. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so that's a 27 to hit. Yeah. Roll <laughs> a 19. Yeah. That's awesome. So you do you blow the dart or throw the dart? I throw it like a ninja star. So you ninja start and it lands right yep. in this chest. Yep. And he, he starts lynching towards you, but you kind of see like it starts pulsating and some of the hair starts removing itself. <laughs> and he starts transforming back into human form Whoa. and just crumbles down into the snow <laughs> and passes out. Yes, that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I'm going to retrieve my dart and then I'm going to just start like making camp. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of like rest uh, next to him until he comes out of it. I'm going to Shenlu uh, builds a fire and he pulls out his flute and uh, just starts playing music and uh, he t pulls out some rations and starts cooking a meal to uh, feed Fenrir when he comes awake. As the light flickers from the campfire, the sweat on my ass cheeks glistens. <laughs> <laughs> and as you... Oh, yeah, I'll retrieve my dart and wipe it off on my, my pants like nonchalantly <laughs> like it wasn't anything... <laughs> As you sleep, Fenrir, you are again find yourself at Raven Rock, pulling on the chain, wanting to get free. You're chained at Raven Rock. You, 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 you feel abandoned. You feel unwanted. You feel betrayed. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 it's so much anger inside, so much yearning to be free and run free. You feel all that. But it, you can tell it's, a, it's like a sentient being. It's not like the mindless wolf. This wolf has a mind. This wolf is like your other half. This is a part of you that you left okay. behind. Right. And morning comes. The one, the one that I gave up. Yes. This one was ripped from you. Fenrir, you find yourself waking up on the cold, snowy ground. You're covered in uh, yak furs or crag cat furs, depending on what you were wearing. You have no memory of what occurred, but you feel like you slept pretty good, man, other than the dreams you had of Raven Rock. But even those, it's it, it's hard to explain. It's not like they're nightmares. It's more like a, almost like a message to you, like a calling to you, a, a gentle howl from your past. And you have this monk sitting over you. Good playing. morrow, Chen Lu. Uh, well, I'm not covered in blood and shit today. Perhaps the raven worked, eh? <clears throat> no, the raven failed tragically, although I I believe that it was a good idea, and I I stand firm that I would use it uh, again if we needed to be in the situation. Mm. My beard is considerably thicker this morning. I've, I've made you a meal. Oh, well, that's so kind of you. I will, for some reason, I am hungry this time. Usually I have a belly full of all manner of creatures. We still have a long distance to travel and you will need energy. This is but our rations that I've crumbled into a pot with some water that I've boiled. I haven't prepared this with love. It's for efficiency. It's all right. When you are warriors and you have a purpose... You don't have time to make food that tastes wonderful. I must inform you that I had to use your potion against you last night, so there will not be an option in the future. We should obtain more of that. Really? Is that what happened? And it kept me from being a wolf? 
No, it returned you to human form. That's why you needed this rest, but we don't have much time. No, we must get there as soon as possible, for I will turn again for the next two nights. Yes, I don't re recall if I collected my uh, dart from your chest. Would you inspect your chest to see if it's there? No, you, it you're, to you, took, you took the you dart did. out. You cleaned on your pants. That's right. <laughs> but I ask cool. him anyways, though, because it's, it's been some kind of time, and I forgot. <laughs> I look at my chest, and there's a little like a pinhole in it. Yeah, that's how I inform him that I wounded him. <laughs> oh, it's gone. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, he had a long rest. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> Yeah, no marks. There's a pinhole. And then uh, Shen Lu, uh, he kind of packs camp, and uh, he whistles uh, through the ocarina a trilling noise, and the uh, the silver raven uh, flies out of the tree and uh, back in, uh, back into raven form, uh, and into the statuette form. He kind of retrieves her and puts him uh, puts her in his belt pouch. <clears throat> so you guys gather all your belongings, put down the fire, and head on out. Yep. Yes. So, you guys are, this is day three, yep. you're working your way towards Raven Rock. Just a hoofing and a hollering. Yes. Over rock. I'm glad over that the snow. change that overcame you did not delay our journey uh, greatly. <clears throat> well, I am too. I was afraid that I would be miles away from you by morning. There's usually a trek back. So I am uh, okay. Go ahead. No, go, yeah, go ahead. Please keep going. I am sad that the potion is gone. I thought to drink it at Raven Rock, but you had to survive. I did. Yeah, I had no other choice. I didn't believe after you. I had, <laughs> was not able to fool you uh, with the the Raven or with my disguise, uh, w with my hiding. That my fear effect might not be enough to overcome you. It is fair. We will have to make do without it. <clears throat> but destiny served us, and we have overcome. Perhaps that was the destiny of the potion. Again, maybe we can find some more. Perhaps. It is not I... for us to understand the ways of the gods. But that is exactly what we're endeavoring to do. <laughs> and he kind of picks up speed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And Alrighty. You guys travel for almost the whole day. Again, you're getting close to sunset, but as you as you travel, you finally um, find yourself coming upon Raven Rock. It is located near the headwaters of Black Raven River in the spine of the world. Um, it is an ancestral mound to both the Grey Wolf and the Black Raven tribes of the Uthgard people. You see a 100-foot-tall statue sculpt of a perched raven. It stands atop a snow-covered plateau representing the Black Raven's burial mound, while just southwest is the Grey Wolf's mound. It's a wolf-shaped depression engraved with uh, the phases of the moon. There are four 50-foot-tall minhirs, minhirs surrounding Raven Rock. Uthgard shamans use those to track the changing of the seasons and the movement of stars. 50 um, feet tall, so they're enormous. Yes. This now, whole place is enormous. Fenrir would tell you probably during the journey or right about now that um, members of the Grey Wolf tribe are forbidden from visiting the Black Raven Mount. Hmm. Forbidden. So there's a little picture there so you can get an idea of what it looks yeah. like. So, Fenrir, this site is holy to you and your people. It is. We would come here every nine years and make sacrifices on the altars and the wise people would praise to the gods and make prayers for the seasons. Can we expect any of your people to come upon us? I cannot say that they won't be there. Hmm. But then again, this is not their time to be here. This is, must be part of your redemption, friend Fenrir. I can only hope. My dreams, even the one that I had last night, they take place here. 
So these are your people's rituals. How shall we begin? Um, DM, have we arrived? So no. we're here? No, you're not there. Okay. Yet. You see it. You, oh. It's so tall. You oh, see it's it. in the distance. If you guys okay, want to keep you. walking up to it, I'll pick up then. Yeah. Yes, please do. We're, we're huffing. All right. So you're headed towards the Grey Wolf part of it. And that would be in the, uh, the, lower. the altar? Yeah, the lower portion, yeah. Yeah, because that's more... Uh, which side are we approaching from? The um, from the uh, west side there? Yes. Okay. Yes. So that altar uh, would be the Grey Wolf altar. And, of course, the raven, you got to go way up higher for that one. Right. Um, Fenrir, as you get closer, you get a familiar smell. You can smell, basically, yourself. Mm. It's, it's, then you can kind of make out, you see a wolf, a singular wolf, and he's chained to the Grey Wolf's altar, and, um, he's tugging on the chains. He smells you too. There's a, an actual wolf being on the chain, chained to the altar right now? Yes, but strangely enough, Shen Lu does not see a wolf there. There it is, Shen Lu. The wolf there, what that is? I have been seeking. On the Where altar. is it? I don't see the wolf. He ignores your words and kind of slowly starts walking towards the altar. Fenrir, if, what has overcome you? He's as, as if entranced. I see it, Shendo. The answer. And I'm walking towards it. This must be some witchery has overtaken you. Perhaps the potion does more than revert you from your wolf form. I'm gonna kind of like just kind of chase after him and and just kind of watch him. Okay. Warily. So as you get closer (laughs) to the wolf he looks into your eyes. You abandoned me. Left me chained in this white void for eternity. And it hurt me. It hurts me to let you go. But you knew, you know, that when we lived together... Fenrir, who are you speaking to? Fenrir, who is it that you see? It sounds like someone you know. It is myself. You know that when I lived with you, I was filled with melancholy and wanderlust. That I could not stay here in the forest to hunt. I see you have a new pack. Is this why you betrayed me? To live amongst the herd with them? <laughs> I went into the world to master it. And they just happened to be part of it. Fenrir, what does it want? What is it you want from me, Wolf? I see you every full moon. Free. I can feel your pain. Free me so I may inflict upon you the same punishment you forced upon me. <sighs> you. If you seek... Abandon me. We were one. What of the pack of our hunts together, running free in the fresh snow, hunting elk, the taste of blood when we made the kill. The pack was you and I. Yet you betrayed me for what? Civilization? I betrayed you for the world. And you are right to be angry. I will set you free and fight you honorably. You sense that you can change whatever magical bind there is you can just unhook the chains if you choose to he'll unhook his chain all right so wait, one by one but before he does this do you want to do anything shin luke i mean you still don't nope. see you see him kind of just talking nope i just kind of i just keep watching what takes place so you walk over tell me how you undo these chains i walk up to his 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 right leg and I take it, is, is it a shackle? Sure. I just tug on it and it breaks. And he's just, yeah, he's just kind of, his feet scatter. I walk to the other. I have just, nothing, no one eternally alone. My howls go unanswered. And he's, you know, he's breathing heavy. And I pull that chain. Okay. And then I get to his left claw. Huh? And I pull that chain. And I see that you are mostly free. I smell that you still have traces of me about you, yet you are not whole. You are not the wolf. I seek to be the master of myself. 
and of the world, and of the wolf. And if I have to fight you, then I will. And I uh, grab the last chain and break it free. Okay. So he kind of stretches, you know, kind of how like dogs do, and he, like he's been, and he's he howls, freedom, <laughs> and then he stares you down. Shadow, you- stand back. The wolf will attack me. Do I see the wolf at this point even still? No. No. So I just kind of like, I take a step, suspicious step back. So the wolf is staring me down, you said? Yes, yeah. He's kind of raising his hands, you know, kind of putting himself in a posture. Aggressive posture. What do you do? I don't take a sword out or anything. I'm ready to fight it like a a beast of of the... Woods. Why have you come, come here to mock me? I have, I have come because I want to be whole again. I want to be control of the wolf. I want to live as I did. There is a saying that they have in the world that I have learned. I would like to have my cake and eat it as well. And I have come to gain my old abilities back. I am tired of living as a feral wolf with no memories. No enjoyment of the hunt. I would seek what you seek. I seek for us to be whole again. But what of your crimes you committed against me? Exact your revenge if you must. Or you can come with me. Bind yourself to me once again. Fenlu kind of like picks up on what Fenrir is talking about. He's like, you must submit to it in order to master it. To run free. To smell. To feast. I want those things. I want to see the world. I want to run across its lands. I will take you there. And the wolf walks towards you. What do you do? My fists that are clenched, ready to fight it, become open hands. And I outstretch them to the wolf in a uh, a come-hither embrace gesture. Come to me, wolf. Embrace me as I will embrace you. And you see the wolf kind of, it's kind of all he ever wanted, you know? And he embraces you, and he kind of walks right through you, but you, then you guys become one. And he's gone. He's, he's inside you now. You guys are one and the same. So... From here forth, you will have advantage on uh, perception wisdom checks that involve keen hearing and smell, and you also are going to gain the athlete feat. Okay. Cool. I will. I will. Um. I will. Uh. It's almost like him entering me. I. I feel like. Um. Uh. I don't. I see the world in almost high definition. Yes, and you sense. And I'm sorry. Go ahead. You see the world I can, high definition. I can hear the birds and the trees from like forever off, and it's like I'm one with the with the forest again. And uh, I turn to Shen Lu. I have found my answer. I am Remember. one with the wolf again. What happened? You are. Then, but, but the past. The message. My, it passed through my spirit. I can feel it. It is at peace in me. Then what about unlocking the secrets, the mysteries? I don't think that our mission here is over. You but did not perhaps, die. I thought you would die and come back. I thought the wolf would devour you. The wolf was almost dead itself. But instead, it filled itself inside of me like wine filling a chalice hmm. 
I am invigorated. And I am glad you are made whole, but these mysteries still elude me if you cannot not unlock their secrets. Perhaps yeah. there is more to see in this raven rock. Yeah, you can the... see there's ravens circling above the site, almost like in a... Uh, it would a appear so. ...path-like fashion, uh, uh, like, they're, like they're making some kind of symbol. Um, I but can Fenrir, hear their calls. Fenrir knows his people are, are not allowed to go <laughs> up to top of Raven Rock. They are forbidden. Grey Wolves are not allowed to go up there. If I go there, it will be an act of war on my people and myself. But you are not Uthgar. I will stay here and wait for you. All right, then I will do this alone. And the sun is starting to set, so you know it's possible. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, maximum speed um, run up the sides of everything uh, until I get there. Well, upon scaling the plateau and reaching the raven statue, you find many carcasses of raven's feet. They're offerings. Uh, and the, the sky gets a little bit darker, and all of a sudden you see seven giant ravens flying around you. And Whoa. they uh, they come and they land and you can see as they're coming in, there's riders on the back of them. There's men, Uthgard's warriors on the back of it. And they land, and they start to, some of them get off their their, their um, ravens, and um, they're pulling their spears out. I'm sure you take a, a combat defense. And uh, all of a sudden, this little old old woman dressed in tattered furs and bones comes out. Hey. Lower your spears. This one is more of the raven than any of you. I am Ogma, cursed to be shaman of the Black Raven tribe. Much like you, I walk with one foot in the land of the living and the other in the land of the dead, monk of the long death. I sent you our herald to the Raven Queen, the cryptic mistress. Shen Lu uh, drops to a knee uh, respectfully and bows his head. He says, you speak truthfully. Uh, are you here to guide me and help me complete my journey? I will help you as much as I can. Please, Ogma, tell me what I must do to unlock the secrets. The Raven Queen, she is a tricky one. She enlists adventurers for her own quests. I know this. I, I am but a slave to her in many ways. Ah, uh, she sits on a throne within the Fortress of Memories, a maze-like castle deep within the bleakness of the shadow fell. Yes. I sense she wishes your aid in defeating a foe. Yet there is more at play here. I feel the gods are at work here. I see your friend. He made one with the wolf. Yes. It was a vision given to me that he should be that the the wolf uh, that the beast should be freed. I did not know that it was Fenrir, but our fates are intertwined. That much is clear. Yes. And clearly, he is a puppet of the gods as much as I am. Free the beast to find the diamond jewel key, and the way of shadows will be lifted. You have succeeded in freeing the beast. Your friend is one with the wolf again. He can lead you to the diamond jewel key, which will open the door to the chateau fell. How will he know where to find it? And she has this little. Um, uh, she gives you a little small diamond jewel. Let your wolf guide you with the smell of this jewel. It will lead you to the key you seek. I am grateful for your wisdom. And he sort of tucks it into his belt. There in the forest. And your gift. Memories. Oh, yes. But if you worry what you find, there in the fortress of memories you will find the way of the long death and your heart's desires. But know that the Raven Queen is always part of an inscrutable game rules of which are known only to her and the Lady of Pain. The Lady of Pain seeks to maintain balance amongst the gods and the many planes, and I think she has work with this giant uprising and all the quests that you are on. If I gods, believe the Raven Queen holds the final truth. If the gods are using you and your companions as pawns, they will have to answer to the Lady of Pain. We are all part of this cosmic game. My part was to lead you to the Diamond Jewel. And now I must bid you farewell. But you have my thanks. I will return to my partner and continue with my quest. Fare thee well. Farewell, Ogma. 
and they fly away on the ravens and leave you to be. Now, while this is going, the sun's going down, and Fenrir is converting into a werewolf. All right, so I, yeah, I'll stash that jewel away, and then I'll uh, I'll book it full speed to his his location. I'll kind of like run up the side of the rock and then uh, down the side of the thing. And I'm leaping Whoa. from stone to stone across the, uh, the burial mounds of this clearly sacred place. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> but this I can time, see it. it's like, what's it look like? Go ahead. In my head, it looks like Samurai Jack, like leaping from like mountain to mountain. You know? <laughs> yes, jumping just like impossible, falling impossible distances, and you can just keep it yeah. running. Yes. Yeah. But as fast as you're moving, you can't get to Fenrir before he transforms into a werewolf. But this time. Finrear is still in control, but in what form? <laughs> <laughs> and so I guess I arrived that upon him transformed. But he's he's still uh, he uh, he, uh, he 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 comes slowly towards you rather than and not growling, and uh, like gets down on like all fours and like spins around a little bit and like stretches his fleas away and I'll kind of cock my head to the side and be like Fenrir now he can't talk in wolf form right he stands on um, his hind legs and, and looks to the full moon and and, and howls all right yeah I'll, uh, I'll just retrieve the jewel from my pouch and I'll hold it up to him he, he said, I'll say, uh, I met with a crone upon the Raven Rock, and she gifted me this jewel. She said it would lead us to the next part of my quest. Will you take me? He smells the jewel. Yeah. And, uh, and, um, his teeth bare, and he howls again. As he smells the jewel, he smiles like he gets this real toothy grin. It's a very familiar scent. It smells like Percival Paxton. <laughs> Percival Paxton is the diamond-jeweled key. 